All right, let's see here. Well, let's talk about rethink our strategy. Seems like it's more for the big brains at the top. In the meantime, I've got some time off. What am I supposed to do in the capital? You got any ideas? Um, eating a lot. Do what you always do. Lift something heavy and then chow down on a nice hunk of beef. Sounds like a good idea to me. I wonder what kind of grub I can dig up an end bar. Oh man, I'm looking forward to it now. But yeah, I just love that video game companies act like they need to raise prices because they haven't for years. And yet the emer- I assume that's supposed to say emergence or emerge or whatever. It works either way, I guess. If online markets give companies like Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft basically 100% cut on everything they sell, unlike prior where they sold it for way less than the local stores. Yeah, I don't know how big like online, like getting games digitally is compared to physical things. I know there's a lot of people like myself that still like having something physical on the shelf and whatnot. Though, there have been some pushes to, uh, you know, get people to get things digitally. Like Nintendo that'll put like their online games on sale, but not, uh, or their digital games, I should say, on sale, but not, you know, the physical versions. Or, or cases like Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, where the only way that you could get like all the rewards on the buying options chart is if you got the digital double pack. That was the only scenario in which you got all the possible rewards you could in BDSB is digital double pack. So there are some cases where they're clearly trying to push for a <laughs> digital, but uh, there are so many leaders our age in Her Majesty's army. It's great. I'm going to prove myself to be the best. Neo. Hi there. How are you doing? So long as your face remains unbothered, I trust that nothing of note has come to pass. However, common sense simply does not apply to those people. We cannot ever know how or when they might take an appearance. Please don't let your guard down, even in Anbar. Also, this may be overly cautious of me, but be wary of Hubert. I don't think the man entirely trusts you. I know he doesn't. Ah, <laughs> uh, no he doesn't. I'll look at Linhart just chilling out over here. I'm surprised Edelgard would choose to return. Excellent. I thought her the type to continue a fight at any cost. But I'm glad- but I'm quite glad to be proven wrong. Um, I'll agree, because it'll make him like me more or not. Yep, it's always good for a leader to be flexible. Personally, I'd love it if she abandoned this war altogether. But that seems like a long shot. Yeah, funny thing with the Nintendo games is that the physical versions are often cheaper than the digital version. Because outside of special circumstances, Nintendo never lowers their prices. So you're just saying, like, the actual stores themselves putting things on sale. Is all you, uh... Is all you mean there. Speaking of. The Imperial capital of Enbar has exhausted since has existed since before the establishment of the Andresian Empire. Another one of the things in this game that bothers me more than it should is when a character, like look at the, both of them, is supposed to be like standing still, but their feet are like moving across the ground. It's happening to both my unit and Lauren's right now if you look close. And it's one of those things that when you notice it, it's just like, why? <laughs> this is where St. Saros first appeared to the world. You've been there before, yes? Were you able to appreciate the city's rich and storied history in all its glory? Um, ask for a tour. I've been there, but hearing you talk about the sites has me excited. Maybe you'd even be willing to give me a little tour. Actually, this will be my first time there. Although, I have been to the royal capital. You know, at some point, I think I'd like to do a video essay on this game. Because just like Three Houses, I think that there's a lot of things that I'd like to talk about this game, like both being good and bad. And maybe that'll change as we, like, get further in the game and whatnot, potentially. But there's also a lot of things I want to talk about in regards to, like, three houses compared to this. Like, you know how I did my initial Pokemon video essay talk about Pokemon so far on the Switch, and here's what it's looking so far for BDSP and Legends Arceus, and I followed up on that with video essays on BDSP and Legends Arceus. Well, I did do a video essay dedicated to, like, three houses on the flaws of it more specifically, because it would have been, like, double the length if I focused on the positives as well. But just the big things that I wanted to, uh, like, draw attention to and whatnot. And now, it makes me wonder if I should do, like, a follow-up to that Three Houses essay and do one on Three Hopes down the line. Because there is actually a lot of things I'd like to talk about this game, both good and bad, you know? Like, it's been... it's been intriguing, but I am really enjoying this game thus far, I do have to say. Ah, uh, yeah! Triumphant return! Or, uh, maybe it's not quite triumphant enough for me to say that? Anyway, we're headed back, but my father has entered Aryan Rodan's keeping an eye on the Kingdom Army. Apparently, Duke Geert, the Minister, of, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, was sent to Murden in his place. He fights pretty well, right? Like, well enough that maybe he'll be able to hold it. Sure hope so. Sure hope that's the case. Well met. The war has started, yet they are in the capital remains rather cheery, no? I suppose they can't even imagine the possibility of losing. And while I want to think that way myself, one, nev one never knows what fate has in store. We'll win, because this is the side that the player chose. 
Why? What would happen if instead the Empire itself was suddenly invaded? Oh, don't freaking jinx it. I don't think we're going to get invaded in this chapter. I think we're going to fight those who slither in the dark in this chapter, and it's probably going to reveal something about Shez. Hey there. Randolph is the son of the previous Count Burgley as his second wife, and one who caused much familial strife. Okay, and Count Burgley- wait. Was Burgley as Caspar's dad that we saved there? Son of the previous Count Burgley as his second wife. Ugh. Wonder what Caspar- okay, yeah, yeah, so it was. Wonder what Caspar and the others think of a man like that being welcomed as a leader. But taken to excess, I fear it will invite backlash. Though perhaps this conversation is lost on you, seeing as you are a beneficiary yourself. I am, just because I'm a general in the army or something, or, or what? Hi. Do you have a moment? Though the war has calmed for a time, that does not mean we no longer have things to do. We must reorganize our army, as well as change our relations with other regions. I will need to lean on your strength more than ever in such times. I don't know why I'm struggling with words. Jump right on board. Leave it to me, boss. So long as it's business for a merc, I'll get it done. You're capable You're capable of handling a great number of things. Not merely mercenary matters. But yeah, funny thing is that the main reason you like Three Houses was because of the characters in the world. The gameplay wasn't that great. However, this game seems to give you even more time with the characters combined with good gameplay. I think so far you like this game way more. That's what I'm feeling so far. I feel like a... I feel a little bit skeptical of saying that. Also, I guess I'm just now noticing those 10 free forge uses I had were like exclusive to that month. So I just have like 10 free forge uses down the drain. I'm just now noticing. Dang. Oops. Whatever. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling about it so far as well. But I feel a little bit skeptical, blah, 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 skeptical about saying that. Because, you know, if you go and watch like the final episode of each of the three houses playthroughs, you see how my perspective kind of changes over time. Like the first playthrough, uh, during the credits where I'm giving my review, I'm like, man, this game is great. Wow, I can't wait to get into my second playthrough. The second playthrough is like, okay, there's that, but I'm a bit bummed out that my progress is gone. But like, I still, you know, really enjoyed it. Third playthrough, freaking end it. End it all. Like, stop. No more. And fourth playthrough is like, you know how I feel. Like, I <laughs> essentially. So part of me worries that that's going to be what happens here. So I don't want to preemptively say that I like this game a lot more only for it to turn out that I don't <laughs> when uh, little playthroughs happen. What we'll see. see. We're returning to the capital soon, yes? Am I having time to go back to Bridget? It would give me happiness to visit home after a time of such longness. Uh, interesting, Bridget. Bridget's your homeland, right? Place beyond the sea? Guess we have to sail out there. Yes, I will be riding with a trade ship. As I'm lacking a vessel of my own. Although, someday I'm hoping to travel back and forth as I please. Also, it's just occurred to me, like, there's been, like, this pile of documents over here for the past couple streams, and I haven't really mentioned what they are. In case anyone's curious, this is, once again, what happens when I work from home. It's not quite as crazy as that, like, Jenga tower of binders that used to be over there. But, like, there's some other documents that are work stuff, and next to a uh, package that I'm actually... That box there is stuff that I'm gonna send to that Guzma nerd. Is what it is. I'm just waiting to get, like, some stuff wrapped up being 3D printed over at my uh, cousin's place to put into there, and then I'll ship it off. Or whatnot. But yeah, I've got some work stuff around. So there's some by the boxes. There's some here. Don't worry, I'm keep I know what everything is. Yeah, Doogie's tired. She has her short spurts of excitement, but... But she gets a lot sleepy a lot sooner nowadays in her age. What can I do for you? I have come from Enbar to welcome you and give you congratulations for the many battles you have weathered so thus far. I must say, you have proven to be a grand success. Your Majesty certainly does have a keen eye for talent. True, there have been a few stalemates, but there could be no doubt that the Empire will emerge the ultimate victor in this war. Is that what you're paid to do? Just go and, uh... <laughs> just go and, like, congratulate people? Describe how the feelings of RCT or Pokemon players develop with each game? What, just being like, uh, this sucks now? Or something like that? <laughs> do you mean? Or just being like, I'm so tired of doing the exact same thing over and over again. Because I mean, when it comes to Roller Coaster Tycoon, I will never get old, never get tired. It will never get old of doing like the same thing over and over again of like working on parks when it comes to like, you know, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, or 3. Or maybe even Planet Coaster to an extent. But freaking uh, <laughs> things like the modern titles, the freaking shovelware made by Atari. It's like end me like i'm so done <laughs> unless you mean in that regard maybe i don't know just feeling like each game is like worse or something like that super excited and then transcending into cynical but you know uh, 
it's I was about to say in the regard of RCT it's because the games are literally becoming shovelware in regards of Pokemon it's like it's still fun it's just it's just the same thing and it just is cutting corners like people always interpret my videos as like oh my goodness I can't believe you say that the game is like so bad and whatnot there's nothing good about it and yada it's like no it's not what I'm saying they're still fun but you know you can only do so much of the same thing for so long and then uh but and then also in addition to the cut corners it's like okay is this really worth getting invested into again is it really worth the price tag that they're putting on it and whatnot which is why it's super important that Scarlet and Violet do something good with, like, its new format with, like, the open world thing, Rebob. But, you know, with the cut corners that we're already seeing in the trailers, it makes me really worried. Um, oh, it's rather lacking reliability. I've heard whispers that an attempt on Her Majesty's life is currently in the works. Just in case, I brought along soldiers to meet her. Though I admit my worry may be unfounded. I'll prove of his caution. Sure? Hey, better safe than sorry. Especially when we're not even inside the city yet. After all, the best time to attack is just before the enemy thinks they're home free. That's when their guard is always at its lowest. No Wise words. I'm actually rather shocked. Yeah, but too bad I only have one portrait, so you can't see me being shocked. That's too bad. I have my regrets about this campaign, but at the same time, I believe I have done all that I could. I've seen a path which will lead to the Empire ruling Fodlin and opening the way to a better future. Do you think so? We were forced into a stalemate with the Alliance. The fight with the kingdom is at a standstill, and the central church is alive and well. Damn. Yeah, so it's actually interesting seeing things play out where it's like we're narrowly scraping by, by like the skin of our teeth. As opposed to like three houses where it's like, oh, just go out, do the battles the game gives you, and wow, everything just works out. Super easy like that, advance forward and then you win. Like here, it's like you can actually see like the progress on the continent and it actually being a bit trickier, you know? Any challenges still lie ahead on the path to victory. I agree with Hubert. I think Hubert's right. When I think of all that we have left to do, it's hard to feel terribly optimistic. I respectfully disagree. Maybe I should have agreed with Ferdinand. We know the problems that lie before us now. We simply have to conquer them. <laughs> Spoken like a true optimist. Though I suppose I should expect nothing else from you. Hmm. Scarlet and Violet will take baby steps. Everyone will praise this revolutionary. And a step in the right direction is always... Yeah. Yeah, it'll... <laughs> Just like Legends Arceus, it'll be a game that cuts so many corners and is like, oh my goodness, this is so unfinished. But because it's a step in the right direction, it's gonna be praised as like a revolutionary new thing. <laughs> this is the rule of thumb. So even though this is a short chapter, I'm probably gonna want to set up like a new training regiment here. So remove all. And that, okay, so then we can build like some new supports. So what other things do I want now? So I've mastered Brigand. I can do Archer. I don't get the freaking affinity thing or Bob there. Oh, I should uh, go into Pegasus Knight here shortly. That's what I should do. So I'll leave my unit B for now. Does Edelgard want to unlock anything? Because again, I'm only doing like the advanced classes when, uh, you know, the time is really calling for it there. So <laughs> make Edelgard a mercenary for fun? Maybe? Because she can, she already has Paladin unlocked, so like, I'll consider doing Cavalier down the line if we really want to, but for now, we may as well, you know, unlock a new line with, like, Mercenary. But yeah, three houses felt like, take this, take out this one force, occupy this one fort, and then defeated the Hostile Realm. And you defeated the Hostile Realm. Yeah, and then you just go back and forth to Garrick Mach each time. It's so, like, at Garrick Mach, do a battle over here. Okay, go to that part of the content, do a battle, back to Garrick Mach. Oh, at the end of the month, we should go do a battle in this next place. Go do the battle in that next place a month later, and do it and then go back to Garrick Mach and all this back and forth and it's like okay we're just chilling at Garrick Mach with the calendar system for 3,000 years and occasionally doing a battle that just advances the story and nothing more whereas in this it's like we actually get to see like tactics and strategies playing out and even though we are still winning the battles that we're playing it doesn't mean that we just naturally win the war as you know <laughs> sugarcoat and easy as it is in three houses so I very much like the approach this game has taken, but this game also has a lot more time to do it since it kind of gets right into the time skip after a few chapters. Unlike three houses where it's like, here's 12 chapters of pre-time skip, and then for Blue Lines and Golden Deer, here's only 10 chapters of post-time skip, less than pre-time skip. Then Black Eagle's Academy route was eight chapters post-time skip, and then Black Eagle's Empire route was six chapters post-time skip. So it really felt like they made a pre-time skip game first, and then just 
screwed around with stuff for post time skip afterwards like it was a not as much of an emphasis about as their story for pre time skip was is what it kind of felt like but this is the game that actually gets to focus on like the war phase and we actually get to see things play out properly and i very much appreciate that let's unlock freaking mercenary sure sounds fun bam sure there's some more sword users because I, I think my only other sword user right now is balthus <laughs> i think bam Cool. Sweden, Armor Slayer. Okay, cool. Does Hubert want anything unlocked? Nah. Nah, what about Ferdinand here? So yeah, he's still, how is he not Master Brawler? Does he not get any class experience for being an adjutant in the last thing? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. We can leave that at that for now. Linhart is still working on some things. Um. Hmm. Caspar can still just keep working on Wyvern Rider for now. Why not? Why ever not? Keep working on that for now. Bernadetta here, who's been mastering a whole bunch of things. You can keep working on Warrior. Sure, keep on doing that for funsies. Um, Dorothea, yeah. Keep at it. Keep at it then. All right, I don't need to be tryharding right now. So, uh, wait, but it's just a paralogue and then the story battle. So maybe I will keep you in your freaking tryhard class for now. I mean, you're almost done with Armor Knight. What do you get here? You do get death blow. You do get death blow. That's good. You are part of the uh, skill group that gets death blow. Cool. So let's just unlock the class for now. Yeah, it is. It is indeed. So we're not going to change into that for now. I'll worry about it later. Like you'll get freaking the armored knight done first or whatever the heck. Um, yeah, you can just stick around in that for now. I mean, I have plenty of advanced skills now. I could always just unlock bishop. Is what I could do. I don't know. Um, look how close he is! Ah! So Mercedes is starting in Bishop here. Does she have a... No, she has Essence of Light as well. She doesn't have the whatever that skill is that builds up support faster. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, how about you work on Mage for now or something, maybe? But maybe I'll put you into one of the beginner classes. Maybe, maybe. And then, um... Wait until Adobe's done doing what she's doing there. Maybe I'll have her change into one of those other classes there, and then, uh... You know, she can just make progress in that as an adjutant when she's grinding, like, affinity and stuff. Is what can happen. Because once we, uh, get to the blue lines route anyway, then those will probably be classes that she's doing along the way over there anyway, you know? But yeah. What's funny of the scene of this game was probably the one which Ray is like, I can't believe you betrayed me. And she's just like, really? You know I'm a merc, right? How is my fault like the money out of character? Is that a, uh, wait, was that when we took Garrick Mach there? I don't quite recall at this point. Did I have my Shez face right? I probably did. Maybe I'm just forgetting because I have so much Fodlin on the brain at this point. <laughs> Sounds rather fitting there. She's making very slow progress in Brigand. It seems like. It seems like they make a lot more progress if you're actually, like, playing as them. So yeah, Balthus and uh, Edelgard are my two sword users for now. Okay, yeah. We're getting places. We are doing things. Look at Happy the Brigand. <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah, Yuritsa. So now you can go into Priest. Kinship, that's the name of the thing, Bob. And you are one of the ones that is part of the skill group that gets Kinship that makes us grind supports faster. So... We're putting you into this, Yuritsa. What a strange feeling. You're gonna be Priest Yuritsa until you unlock Kinship, because it'll literally just make the grind easier. Okay, yeah, when you take Garrick Mach, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Have fun with that. Okay, so. Edelgard's exclusive to this route, so I definitely want to be doing things with her. Actually, I think that... I know that Edelgard and Hubert are exclusive to this route. I think Ferdinand is as well, so they're all gonna be wanting to be dudos that do things. Can Edelgard support with any of the, uh, no, I wouldn't want to put any of the, uh, characters I'm not using in a training anyway. <laughs> Priest Yorita sounds cursed. Yeah, he's the death knight, and he's in the healer class. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Here, let's do that. Let's give Yorita some love here. How about... And then, yeah, he can work on priests like that. Is what can happen. I don't, because there's not, like, a map here, I don't think we need to worry about, you know, going around and possibly getting more training points back. It's just a paralogue and then the main battle. So I can probably just use all my points right now and then just get, like, Priest with him done. And not actually battle with him and Priest. 
Um, so Ferdinand can get priest done as well. Is what he can do. And, um... Who does he most want to support with here? How about Dorothea? In that a case. Um, yeah, you can get kinship there as well. Um, my unit needs to get soldier done. Um, actually, I'm going to put my unit in last so I can see, like, who's left to, uh, be getting some supports with and stuff. Linhart can work on something where Bob's there, and he can support with, say... Let's turn the Doogie Cam back on now. Petra, maybe? I don't know. Or Constance. It looks like a little bit more progress needs to be done with, like, these nerds here. So, sure, how about Petra? How about Petra in that a case? And then Hubert, Fighter Hubert, can support with, um... Caspar? Um, Monica's almost done. I've been doing pretty good at when it comes to, like, grinding supports in this, huh? Happy, how about? Sure, let's do that. We can get Happy Brigand done. And stuff. Can Bernadetta and Caspar support? Looks like they can. Sure, let's do that. And then, yeah, so there's all of our, like, main ones at the top, I guess, apart from Monica. I mean, I could put Monica in. What's my support with Monica, anyway? Yeah, I can do that, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Or like Balthus or someone. Let's do Monica, how about? Sure. So what does everyone want to be working on? Let's see here. Priest to get kinship. So many people are going to be working on priests that we get kinship. If only I'd realized this earlier. I would have had people working towards this like way earlier and whatnot. So in training... How about you work on Pegasus Knight? Or are you... Let's just get everyone's, like, beginner classes done first, I suppose. Is what we can do. Petra, yeah, Armored Knight, then. How about... Yeah, you're not in the right, like, skill set to get kinship, so... Don't need to worry about that there. Get Armored Knight Petra done. And then we can start working on Brigand after that. Um, yep, yeah, Brigand, get that death blow. Yep, yeah, get a new thing where Bob unlocked with Fighter there, Hubert. A new line of classes that you can do. Priest, yep. Um, almost done with that. Cool. Look at the things that you've been mastering. Yeah, you may as well get that done, and then we'll go into Priest. Sure. Sure, sure. Why ever not? Yeah, you can get Pegasus Knight done, and then we'll start working on, like, one of these or something. Sure. Yeah, let's just use all our training points, like, now, then. Because this is a short chapter anyway. Just a paralogue and a... Just a paralogue and a story battle. Cool. Cool. Kinship. This will make grinding supports even easier. Cool. Only thorns left on this rose. Neat, this neat. Linhart smash! I imagine this will serve me well. I'm sure it will. Look at all those kinships everyone's getting. Yeah, if only I'd realized it during an earlier stream. We've we'll gotten kinship on people a lot earlier. It would have made things a lot easier. So let's see here. Now Linhart. Go get your other beginner class that you haven't done yet. Um, Dorothea can get your other beginner class that you haven't done yet. Um, and then my unit now has access to this line, and we can do Pegasus Knight here pretty shortly. I can do Archer for now. Let's do Archer for now. Is what we can do. Sure. Actually... Training can be the difference between victory hmm. and defeat. Yeah, your poor human will now probably have learned 1,000 random facts about Edelgard. Wait, for uh, for being in training for so long? Wait, what? I was confused. Yeah, I should do Pegasus Knight sooner rather than later, because I won't be able to do it in the next playthrough with Shez, because the next playthrough will be, like, male Shez and whatnot, so we may as well get, like, the female exclusive stuff done. Oh, this will take some getting used to. So we may as well do. I'm not going to change into that class right now, though. And yeah, maybe I should be training in that. Sure. Let's do that. Boobity bop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you mean. Oh, yeah. Look at these two clear healers out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Monica would be all too eager to share that. Only thorns left on this rose. Okay, I'll, I'm just going to start skipping it. So I'm gonna do. Ah, uh, yes, Hubert got swinging fury, apparently. So let's see here. So Petra has that done now. Nice. Okay, so now, Brigand for Deathblow. That's what you can start working on next. Hubert 
can start working on this other beginner class. How about? Sure. Begin the training. Let the training commence. Begin. Everything feels new when we train together. Bam. Cool. More faith for Ferdinand. Cool. Turn them tables. Turn them tables on the ones that don't know the uh, 10 incredible facts about Edelgard. So let's see here. So now Linhart can learn something else. Are you part of the uh, Deathblow group? No. Sucks to suck. I mean, yeah, it's just that there. Um, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'll put Linhart into Archer next then. How about... Yeah, Priest Eurisa and Edelgard look like the irreligious children who are forced to attend church due to their parents. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a very good way to uh, put that there, huh? Yeah, let's go ahead and get Archer for Linhart, and you can start working on that then. Cool, cool. Never thought I'd see Archer Linhart. Well, don't I look splendid? Yeah, you look freaking fab, don't you? You look great. I had a friendo in like junior high school to high school who uh, who <laughs> was an atheist in a very, very, very religious family, and they uh, <laughs> well, let's just say they treat him a uh, kind of strangely for it. Was the case? All right, let's see here. Yeah, so you can work on Archer now, Linhart. Yeah, does look pretty cool. Seems like, and then Dorothea. So you've got your beginner classes done then. So we could work on Pegasus Knight, or are you part of the Deathblow group? You are. You are part of the Deathblow group. That means that we are going to do that, is what I'm thinking here. Yes, Brigand. Brigand Dorothea! Because if you can get Deathblow, then we will give you Deathblow. This is what we shall do. No, don't change into that class. So let's see here. So, bam! Train in that. Begin to train! Ah, interesting. Things that you'd never see if you weren't doing like two of the same class in a thing of training. Interesting. More kinship. Ow, I don't know if you heard that crack. My joints are breaking. Yes, we can get kinship with the Death Knight. Sweet. Okay, so let's see here. So Caspar mastered that. So, I mean, I could just have like Wyvern Rider in training here. Sure, we can always reclass him to like Warrior in battle if we really want to, you know. Hubert, you have your beginner classes done. Do you, are you part of the Deathblow group? Nope, okay, we just work on Cavalier then. That'll, you know, help make progress towards like Dark Knight and stuff. All right, Happy, you've got your Deathblow, you've got your Brigand all mastered and whatnot. What do you want to work on next? Maybe Pegasus Knight or something? Oh, you have a beginner class that's not done yet. Let's uh, get you working on your beginner class then. That's what we can do. Okay, yeah, let's do the thing. The thing shall be done. Let us fly! That felt good. Let's do it again. Just nothing but nice is than one great at the end? Wow, what? thanks RNG. I must thanks, I guess. Is that Frozen Lance? Wasn't that like a budding talent of his in uh, Three Houses, if I recall? I don't quite remember, though. All right, let's see here. So now, Monica over here can uh, work at a beginner class. How about? Sure. Sure, something like that. Don't know why we're only getting it. That unique dialogue this training. We did well. Bam. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. I'm glad you like the kelp farm on the server there, Wyvern. Don't be doing that, please. There we go, Deathblow. Sweet. Sweet. But yeah, I got inspired for by it. Are you gonna make a kelp farm like that now? On the very same server, by chance? All right, we don't have any more training points right now, but we may as well see, like, what other things that we worked on. Like, Brawler, I guess. Technically. Or Myrmidon, but yeah. Just slap it as this right now. And yeah, Happy has another thing done, so I may as well unlock, like, a new class now, right? So, like... Hmm. You don't have that one heart, one mind thing, Rebob. Um... What's Table Turner? Since this is the period of critical attack time after a perfect dodge. Eh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. 
Sure, I'll just unlock Pegasus Knight for her right now. That's what I'll do. What copy paste a kelp farm like that, but you do something similar, mayhap. Let's see here. I just add another one instead, so then you're totally original. Add like another layer or something. Sure, let's unlock Pegasus Knight here. Just in case I use any of these for thumbnails. I know what I'd use. Yeah, something else to work on when you feel like it, but you don't feel like it right now. Also, our new unit that we got of, uh... Mercedes. Okay, so you're working on Mage on the side. I mean... My units I'm not using as much. I'm just gonna have as, like, adjutants in the back like that for support. I kind of want them to be working on stuff that they're not gonna be getting as much experience in. In, like, my actual playthrough with them. Because once we do, like, the Blue Lions route, of course she's obviously gonna be going down this line. So I may as well save the progress on that for my Blue Lions playthrough. So... Just slap you into weird things. How about you take after your bro in this one and go into soldier? Here we go. Sure. That sounds fun. Hi, silly doggy. And they all have like weird things to be working on. Yeah, cool. Just priest there because uh, you know, the kinship thing, my Bob. Yeah. Oh, yeah, happy needs to uh be in something else now. Is the case. I mean, yeah, I can go into warlock again. Then maybe we'll go into Pegasus Knight after all then. Sure. Sure. Hi, silly doggy. You want to relax here? All right. Does anyone else have a master class? My unit does, and I need to. Uh, yeah, I could go be Pegasus Knight then. Is what I can do. Or Archer. But I'm gonna do Pegasus Knight here. Sure. <laughs> I got the Death Knight's Crescent Sickle. Cool. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's see here. So uh, maybe I'll just slap you into Warlock for now then. I mean, or I can unlock Bishop. Hmm. Let's do Warlock for now. We can't unlock Bishop if it really comes down to it. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's cool, I think. I think Arabut is cool. Let's see this support here. Let's see what's going on in the land of supports. You wanted to talk, Monica? This is an interesting choice of location. I hear you've been going above and beyond lately. That you perform miracles each time you set foot on the battlefield. Why are you complimenting me all of a sudden? I mean, things have been going well, but... Oh, I assure you, I have no ulterior motive. You've helped me out a great deal too, after all. Even Her Majesty praises your fine work. She talks about you so much, in fact, I'm more than a little sick of hearing your name. Huh. She talks about me that much? Wait a sec. You aren't jealous, are you? <sighs> that wouldn't make any sense. Indeed, it wouldn't. Why in the world would I be jealous of you? After all, you are merely Her Majesty's subordinate. Your relationship will never transcend the bounds of master and servant. It will never reach the depths of meaning that Her Majesty and I share. She's definitely jealous. So you are jealous? In what way? I am merely telling you the truth as I see it. It never even crossed my mind how irritatingly close you and Her Majesty are. Not once! Uh... Yeah, you basically just admitted it. I certainly did not! You did. You said you were jealous that Edelgard and I are so close. The word jealous never traversed my lips. You sure you're not, though? Perhaps... a little. That's what I thought. But so what if I am? I have always been Her Majesty's most devoted admirer. Hubert is one thing, but you... you're just a run-of-the-mill mercenary. To think Her Majesty has uttered your name more times than she has mine, it makes me want to scream my lungs out! You've been counting? Um, how important is it? Is it really that big a deal? Who cares, anyway? I care! I keep track of everything she does. I can't help myself. I can't believe it has come to this. I have no other choice but to ask for your help. Um, let's come to what now? I will just have to show you. Come on, let's go. Let's go? Is that gonna be like the next support conversation? 
or something? What's going on here? All right, let's see the one with Ash. How about? Oh, it's you. What are you doing? Hey, Ash. Not much. Just perusing this tactics book. Have you read it before? I sure have. It was popular in Leicester a few years back, if I remember right. I picked it up myself back at the monastery, but it was so dense it took me ages to finish. It's a pretty tough one, I'll give you that. But there's some great stuff in here too, if you can get past the writing. Hold on, you were born in a remote mountain village in Ordelia territory, right? Uh, yeah. What's your point? I guess I'm just impressed you can handle such an obtuse book, given your upbringing. I mean, nobles and the children of rich families are taught to read by default, but most commoners never get the opportunity. Honestly, I've been wondering who taught you ever since our time at the Academy. I hope I didn't offend you. I'm just curious. Nah, <laughs> it's fine. I learned from my mom. Adoptive mom, that is. Looking back on it now, it is kind of weird that someone as smart as her was off living in the middle of nowhere like that. Hmm. I'm sure she must have had a reason for being there. Hard to say. She never liked talking about her past, so I don't know much beyond what I saw for myself. At the very least, it's obvious she was well-educated. That's clear just from looking at you. Not only can you read and write, but you know arithmetic and how to navigate with a map, too. In that sense, you're not so different from the average noble or knight raised in the lap of luxury. I'll express my doubts. Really? I don't think it's that big a deal, personally. Oh, but it is. Not many commoners are literate and educated like you are. They don't need any of that stuff to make a living, so it's not really viewed as a necessary skill. You know, I didn't know how to read myself. Until I met Renato. Huh. Now that you mention it, I never really saw the other mercs in my company with a book in their hands. Except for the captain, of course. Makes me wonder where my mom learned all that. But it's not like I can ask her now. She's gone. Oh. I hit- I turned on my camera before I unmuted my microphone. Whoops, I get my hotkeys all mixed up and stuff like that sometimes. But yeah, um... Yeah, there's, um... There's that- Hi! Hi, silly doggy. <laughs> Weird doggy. Alright, so Linhart and Petra have a new support, huh? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Sand... Rain... River? Is he writing of the weather? Are you all right, Petra? That's quite the noise that just came flying out of your diaphragm. Linhart, perhaps you can be helping me. This letter is giving me much difficulty. A letter, is it? I was under the impression that you had no trouble reading the language of Fodlin. I also had that thought, but this page is not making sense. Can you be reading it for me? What? Oh, no, I couldn't. This is a private matter. I mean, I don't even know who it's from. But I cannot be writing back if I do not know what they are saying. Please, do this favor for me. Oh, very well. Let me have a look. Goodness, no wonder you struggled with this. It couldn't be more archaic. Right, well, let me give this a shot. <clears throat> Yon world is endless sand. And I, but a parched grain, air upon its bosom. Oh, beauty, was it the western wind which brought thee hither, merciful rain? Soft, my river o'erfloweth. Hmm, Petra, is this a love letter? That is a possibility, but I do not have certainty. Okay, you definitely should have mentioned that before I started reading this. Well, too late now, I suppose. Indeed. I am blaming the letter. If no one can have understanding of it, the writer is a waster of paper. Well, it's not that I don't understand so much as... Look, let me just give this back to you. You have understanding? You must be teaching me. Oh, very well. 
The writer is using archaic speech to express his love for you through metaphor. So much so that I would say they have gone and spoiled the whole thing. So he has passion? I am pleased, although I have little knowledge of the letter's writer. Really? From what he's written here, it sounds as if he sees you every day. Also, the letter is absolutely rife with mistakes. But take this passage, for example. I think he mentioned the western wind in an effort to evoke Bridget, but it's actually the southern wind that brings rain. Besides which, the merciful rain is a gift from the goddess. This paramour of yours shouldn't be tossing such sacrilegious comparisons about. And I won't even ask how a grain can be parched, let alone turn into an overflowing river. The words have richness and color. I wish I could be reading them as well as you. Trust me, it's nothing special. Well-crafted writing has layers. This just has apostrophes. So, are you planning to write him back? This has been a most painful lesson of how little I am knowing. I must be reading many books to study the old speech of Goldwyn before making my reply. I sure hope she doesn't plan on writing him back in the same style, or they're going to end up talking right past each other. B rank friend three, heck yeah. Yeah, the doggies are quite relaxed and on the verge of passing out over here, it seems like. She had her spurt of excitement earlier and now, now it's time to sleep. All right, so, hmm, I can get some affinity up this way as well. I mean, learn how to make roast pheasant with berry sauce. Hi, I think you can see her head like turning up and over at me there. Hi. So, hunger is the true enemy. So, hunger is the true enemy. Slightly fills the awakening gauge at the fills the warrior gauge at the start of I have plenty of these fish and stuff, so like... This is a short chapter. Sure, let's just do it. And we get like some affinity and stuff. Happy and Yuritsa would like it, apparently. About Happy and, um... One of the people that she can support with is, uh, Ignatz that she's almost done with. Yeah, well... Hmm, sure, let's do it. Sure, let's do the thing. I'm cooking a meal for you two. Best have your homework done by the time I'm done with this. Solid, solid. Wait, for me? Great. I love this stuff. Who you eat with is more important than how the food tastes anyway. Bam! Sweet. Come back whenever you're hungry. Cool. Okay, so we should probably do a few chores around here as well. So I know that Fernand can support with Lysithia, so we're gonna do that again. Is what we shall do. Make some progress on that. Who you with is better than how the food tastes, indeed. to worry about with me on the job very well i will join you bam perfect got a lily from it cool i mean it depends on what the uh depends on what the food's like i'd say let's see here throwing your spaghetti let's see here so marianne could support with uh bernadetta and my unit but we're gonna focus on like the uh of the units first. So Marianne and Bernadetta. Yeah, so let's do this. Bam! Let's get some affinity up like this. Counting on you both. I don't know how much help I'll be, but okay. And you need me for this? Are you sure? I'm sweating. Nice. Oh man, it's not a perfect this time. Sucks to suck. Do our support conversation available. I'm just gonna quickly look. So I mean, you have to think of the fan conversation. I to the end of so where he's like, please do not sit me next to this woman or whatever the heck. Um, Raphael could support with Petra. So how about one that Petra likes? And Petra likes this. Raphael sucks at it, but we're doing it anyway. I don't care how you suck at it, Raphael. Figure it out. Counting on you both. I 
will see it done speedily. Sure. That'll be no sweat. See, look, he'll do it no problem. Look, we got great. Cool. We all must do our okay. Share. And then, um... Another one of our other kind of characters, like Lorenz, can support with... Ah, uh, just other dudos there. Or Lorenz and Balthus is what we can do. Sure, let's do that. I'll save one activity point in case someone wants to go on, like, an expedition. As well, I'll do. So, Balthus also likes maintaining the equipment. Sure. So, Balthus and... Oh, Lauren sucks at it as well. Um, oh, I deplore you. That's what the line was. Do not sit me next to this woman. Counting on you both. We'll figure something out if we work together. I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts. That should be, like, terrible. Oh, that's nice. That's basically a terrible. It's basically like a failure. Okay, let's see the uh, support conversation that we unlocked. How about Bernadetta and Marianne here? I see a. I see a. I thought I saw a lock. I'm losing my mind. Actually, have anything important to say? No, you can go first, Bernadetta. Okay, well, I guess I'll start. I saw a lovely white butterfly in the mess hall this morning. Oh, but while the wings and body were both white, its eyes were crimson. It was beautiful. I saw one just like that at the stables. You saw one too? Yes, its eyes glittered like tiny jewels. It was wondrous to behold. I wonder if it was the same butterfly I saw. That would be something, huh? Yes. It would be a most lovely coincidence. Um, well, I guess it's my turn. This morning, I awoke earlier than usual, and... Well, since I had extra time, I climbed a small hill and looked out over the landscape. You woke up bright and early, huh? That's great. So how was the scenery? Seeing the plains hued red by the sunrise was especially striking. It's like I was standing inside a painting or... Uh, I'm sorry. I can't put into words very well. Wow. I wish I could have seen it. Maybe I can manage to drag myself out of bed before noon one day. Oh dear, listen to me. I'm sorry for going on as long as I did. No, it's alright. Really. And actually... Yes, Bernadetta? Well, I guess... I mean, it's been a long time since I've been able to talk this much with someone. I'm rather awkward speaking to other people myself. So, this has been somewhat strange for me as well. Yeah. So... I was thinking it might be nice if we could chat again sometime. What do you think? Uh, that would be delightful. Oh, thanks, Marianne. I gotta think of lots of things to talk about for next time. Okay, so there's carnivorous plants, interesting books, the doll I'm knitting, carnivorous plants. <laughs> you talked about those today as well. Yeah, but there are lots of different kinds. Anyway, I think this is going to be great. <laughs> well, that was certainly something, huh? That's what it's going to be like, you know, the world slowly trying to get back to normal after uh, after years of COVID and whatnot. It's what that's basically like right there. All right, let's go see about the freaking paralogue that we have coming up here. Isn't it with a bunch of units I don't really use? Let's see. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's with Golden Deer's Dudos, so yeah. Unsettling truths. I'm not gonna get S rank here. I mean, it'll be my unit with those three, so maybe I should just, you know, put myself into the Assassin class or something like that and just, like, try hard it and we can see what happens. I, I guess that's what I'll do. Unsettling truths. An attack on a group of mercenaries turned bandit sheds light on the truth behind the tragic death of Raphael's parents, an incident that has long weighed on Ignatz's mind. Ooh. 